that this government is committed to public transport, but we want to do what uh, a generation of Melburnians have wanted us and governments well, to Mr. do. Now, just let me finish. Well, Mr. And that Cannon, is to expand I started public transport, with that question because but at I've a been lower told, overall cost. I started with that question because I've been told that the Met has serious budget problems. In fact, I've been told that the Met's in danger of running short of money well before June. Is there that are, right or wrong? There are supplementary uh, uh, allocations to departments each and every year. And as I've uh, informed you, we are certainly short uh, in areas by like how revenue. Much? By how much? Well, by some millions Tens of dollars. Tens of millions? Uh, by some millions of Tens dollars. Tens of millions? By some millions of dollars. But what I am saying to you is what we are here to discuss tonight uh, is the measures we're taking to address budgetary issues both for this year's budget and in future budgets by making the system work better and by taking efficiency measures which will enable us to expand public transport as we want to, 60 extra tram services One final question out of on the this Met issue. ticket reform. Has there been any communication between the Met and the Department of Management budget about the danger of a serious shortfall? Oh look, there are ongoing discussions between all departments So there, and so the there Department is a shortfall, you won't put a figure there, on it? There are, there are ongoing discussions between the Department of Management budget and every department, but the fact of the matter is this government is very much committed to cost-cutting measures in the Met and in V-Line. We've done that more successfully than any other government and we've been able to, of course, uh, carry more and more passengers in V-Line in the last Paul five Mace. years. Just let me... No, no, no you asked the question. Well, just we have answer. limited time, I just Mr. want to give Kennedy, you an please, example. Paul in V-Line, we are carrying 66% more passengers uh, and we have reduced our overheads by about 40%. In the Met, in the last five years, six years, we've increased the number of passengers by about 16% uh, and been able to generally maintain our overheads. Paul Mace. I understand that uh, what you've suggested is in fact correct and that the Met is almost on the point of running out of money. I'm led to believe, and uh, I've been told this by people within the Met, that they've almost used up their entire year's budget allocation already. I understand, for example, that they will have run out of money to operate the private bus system by next week and that uh, I don't understand the exact mechanism for attempting to obtain more than was budgeted for, but I understand that they're attempting to do that at the moment. Will you deny that? Oh, well, it's absolute rubbish, of course. And but you admit, it is, you it admit is you're behind. Look, it, for reasons that I've explained, of course. Well, there put are, a figure on it. There are, look, we are here to discuss the Met ticket. That's what you invited me down here to do. And I propose to do that and outline the other measures that the government is taking. In relation to the matters that John Yost broadcast last week, there are a number of fundamental flaws. Right. The Met ticket reform will save $24 million a year. And in relation to what you did to Dr Neville Norman, I think you owe him an apology. Because, in fact... Uh, he was fed a line about slower buses. When I spoke to John Yost, John Yost did not understand that in fact government uh, conductors had not been on buses for many, many years. This system results in faster buses because there is no change to that except that drivers on buses sell a smaller range of tickets than they used to and we've got faster buses. Another well, that's a furphy. They're really talking about slower trams here and uh, already you can see on the few trams that a driver only operated that they are in fact slower than they were before. One of the reasons why the city of Amsterdam is currently bringing back tram conductors even as we speak is because they found that drivers selling tickets slowed the trams down to an unacceptable level and that involves costs. It basically means you need more vehicles and more people to run the same level of service. Well, can I just say that Amsterdam have put uh, conductors back on the princely total of 15 uh, trams for a trial period for tourist purposes. We'll of course have 70 zone conductors around the city. We've got conductors on a number of W class trams, uh, but the fact of the matter is the trams won't, the timetables won't be delayed and Mr Mees knows, and everybody who is acquainted with public transport around the world knows, that driver only trams and light rail are the world standard. Can but I just pick, Mr. Can I just Kenning, pick you've up... Mr Kennedy, you've had a, a very fair go. The, the, the point the is, we've put costings, your costings, up against independent financial mm. consultants and then run them past Neville Norman from Melbourne University, and you don't take any notice of what they have no. to say. It seems to be a case of uh, um, Jim Kennan's right and that's it. I want to go through those matters that you listed last week. You haven't given me the opportunity to do that. I intend to do that now. They weren't an independent financial consultant, they were a firm at Bondi, briefed by the public transport users. They had no contact or input from us, given a set of, sub, uh, given a set of assumptions by the PTUA on which they drew conclusions. Mr. That's, that's, not, correct. that's, that's not correct. And they, and were the ones that made the, they were the ones that asked us, in fact, for figures on, on matters like fear evasions. But, but you, you briefed them, not us. 
those assumptions were suggested by them. That's correct, but we gave them your documents. Neville yes, Norman looked at them both, yeah, independently again. But, but he, he was not spoken to by us, and we had no input. Can I just take you through some other errors? It was said on your program last week that the uh, cost of the ticket vending machines was not taken into account. That's not true. It was said that the wages blowout was four million. That's not true. There was an over overrun of some 700,000 by reason of the industrial dispute, but that will be more than offset by the efficiencies that we get. The printing of tickets that was set on your program uh, was not taken into account. That's not true. They were taken into account and they've come in under budget. Mr. It Mees. was said, hang on, I haven't finished with the items that you gave last week. Surely he's, Mr Mees is entitled to a say as well. Well, his, his, his view was put last week. The hundred extra police that you costed last week as part of the uh, uh, cost to met ticket were a separate promise made by the government in any event back in 1988. Well they simply wouldn't be needed if we had staff on trams and stations at night and as you know Jim you've suggested yourself on many times, many occasions and people have asked what about security you've said we'll have all these extra police available so quite clearly the extra police are being seen as a replacement for things like tram conductors and station staff and it's legitimate to include them as a cost of the system but what I want to know is why is it that you didn't even consult the general manager of the Met at the time about this ticket system. He said last week before the Equal Opportunity Board he was against scratch tickets because they led to massive fear evasion and that he wasn't consulted about this system no, at all. I can understand you're not consulting us, but uh, you didn't even he consult did, he, him. He didn't say that at all. And what he also said was that he strongly supported driver-only operation and driver-only was the norm around the world and he supported uh, retail Gentlemen, sales I'm sorry, and I'm sorry we've, run, we've run out of time. Thank you both for coming in. Thanks for having us. Now to another arena where no one can agree, the Federal